Hello, my name is Michael Whittington. Welcome to the screencast for the software that accompanies the Cambridge Introduction to Biblical Hebrew by Cam put out by Cambridge University Press, written by Brian Webster. And this software is called Text Scroll. And what I'm going to do is preview for you some of the key features that make Text Scroll worth the cost of the book. The $39 for the book. You, it would be worth $39 just to have this software. And just to give you background for me and how I know about the software, I had Brian Webster for my first two Hebrew classes, and we used the text scroll software in those, as well as prototype for his grammar. So what I'm going to do is preview some of the chapter, uh, the, the key components to the, the chapter guides that come on text scroll, as well as the vocabulary module that comes with it. Again, this would be just worth the price of the book in and of itself to have a copy of the software. So the, the bundle value um, is incredible. Let's start with chapter 10. Um, let me just first give you an overview. In chapter 1, so you see each chapter on the right side of the screen has different um, learning activities where you learn to read Hebrew, you practice some writing, you begin your vocabulary. Chapter 10 with the CalPerfect will give us a good illustration of the capability that this software has. Let's click on the first learning activity, learning activity one, with the grammar illustration. Now the way that Brian's approach is set up is he has verbal ID badges for each of the verb stems. So you see the Cal stem ID badge here. And it's connected to the first uh, two radicals of the Hebrew word with the with the person of the verb added on the ending uh, added for the ending. Now, one of Brian's approaches, one of the things that Brian does is he shows the connection between the personal pronoun and the ending and how the actual word is formed, how the verb form is formed. Now, these grammatical illustrations will help show this, which helps people who are visual learners especially like myself. So um, you have a brief overview of the chapter contents and then you enter into the interactive section of the software. You see the software, um, th this, this screen has persons one, two, uh, and three, singular and plural, and then when we click on the play button, what we're going to see is the personal pronoun here becoming the ending for the verb. And this allows students to see how the verbal form is created and seeing the great continuity between the personal pronoun and the verb ending helps to reinforce what the student is learning on several different levels. And again, this, is a, this adds a verbal component, a, a visual component to the student's uh, learning experience, which helps a lot in the acquisition process. Again, we have more of an overview as we move forward. And then... Uh, we have an illustration of the creation of a pausal form of the verb. See the accent dropping down. If you want to put it back into the contextualized form, you can click the Return to Contextual Forms button. So this is the grammatical illustration. And you can step in at any point. In the grammatical illustration by clicking on the clicking on various buttons. Now, what I've done here is clicked into the the parsing uh, parsing practice, which is Brian's verb analyzer. Here we have your verb, and then you have all of the different components to parsing. So when you click on the next button, or rather the show answer button, and what you end up with is all of the key components but in the same vernacular that the, the book is written with the full parsing information. Now you can go to random or you can go to next and you can see that uh, the verb itself does not change but the parsing changes. So you can see how one word uh, changes depending on the parsing that goes through different words here, a call. Students may find that using the random feature helps to keep them on their toes a bit more. 
because they also have to pick out the the lexical form of the verb. In addition, we have some learning practice, the practice readings, which is a big plus here because you automatically have the answer to check your work as long as you are disciplined enough to do the work before you check your answer. So here, you just click on the next button, then we have our translation down here. Any words that you have not learned in the actual uh, chapter so far are given to you. So, uh, so what you're dealing with is specific biblical texts that are unadulterated, uh, and the, the vocabulary that you don't have is just given to you. So then now here we have Ezekiel 16, and the answer when you click Next, Judges, and so on. You click this book down at the bottom to bring you back to the chapter 10 um, outline. Now, uh, then each at the end of each chapter, you have a vocabulary section. Let's go ahead and go to the vocabulary section. The vocabulary section is set up in such a way that you have access to the audio of each verb. As. That's Brian's voice. As. And you can either progress through the, the words as they show up in the list. Ach. Or you can progress through randomly. And if you go through randomly, and you click random, don't repeat, it'll remove ach from the list, and it won't show up again. Likewise, if you get a word wrong... Tamam. Let's say you get tamam wrong. You can't remember what it is. You, you click keep this in the set and add to new list. Keep in this set and add to new list. What this will do is, is it maintains the random, but it also adds to a new list that is right now dormant. Uh, and eventually this list, well, the more you get in there, will become your new list for next time you... Uh, for, the, for the next list that you do. So let's just click a few in in here. And then let's just rifle through these. Clicking don't repeat. 